This video shows you how to connect your Epson printer to a wireless network. In this demonstration, you will be using the printer's buttons to select wireless settings. Before you start, there are a few things you need to check. Do I already have a wireless network? First, make sure you have a network already set up. Your network may include one or more computers or an internet modem connected to a router. Before making a connection, make sure that your router is wireless. Later, you will see how to add your Epson printer by connecting it to the router. You'll also need to know your wireless network's name. This is called the SSID. The SSID was entered into your router when it was first set up. What security settings am I using? If you have wireless security turned on, you'll also need to know your network password. If you don't have this information, ask the person who set up your network. Now let's set up your Epson printer and add it to your network. When you're done, you'll be able to print wirelessly from this computer. You can add the ability to print from another computer later on. Follow the steps on the Start Here sheet. The Start Here sheet shows you how to physically set up your printer. When you get here, install your printer software. Insert the CD that came with your printer. If you do not have a CD-ROM drive, you can download the software from the Epson support site. Click Install. Follow the instructions on the screen to install the software. This can take several minutes. At this screen, select how you want to connect. Since you want to print wirelessly, select Wireless Connection and click Next. Select the option to set up printer for the first time and click Next. The installer may be able to detect your wireless settings and automatically connect your product to your network. If this is your first time setting up your printer, select Yes and select Next. Then follow the on-screen instructions. If you prefer to set up the wireless connection manually, select No to manually add your printer to your network then click Next. If you did not see the Auto Connect screen or chose to manually set up your printer, you see this screen. Since you'll be using the printer buttons to connect to your wireless network, choose Using Printer Buttons and click Next. You will need your wireless network's SSID and password in order to set up your printer. This information will automatically appear on the screen if your computer is connected wirelessly to the network. Click Show Network Password to display the password. Then copy down the SSID and password exactly as shown. When you're done, click Next. When you get to this step, look at your printer's control panel. Press the Home button, then press the left arrow. Select Wi-Fi Setup and press OK. Select Wi-Fi Setup Wizard and press OK. Now you'll choose your wireless network and enter its password. Press the up and down arrow buttons to select the name of your wireless network. Then press OK. Next, enter your wireless password. Use the arrow buttons to select a character. Then press OK. Select the backspace button and press OK to delete incorrect characters. If your password contains upper or lowercase letters, be sure to enter them in the correct case. To enter lowercase letters, select the lowercase AB12 and press OK. To switch back to uppercase characters, select the uppercase AB12 and press OK. To enter special characters or symbols, select Symbol 
and press OK. When you're done entering your password, select Done. Then press OK. Your printer is connected to your wireless network. Follow the rest of the instructions on the computer screen to finish installing the software. Your Epson product is now ready to print wirelessly. If you want to print from another computer, insert the CD that came with your printer or run the software you downloaded and follow the instructions on the computer screen. When you get to this step, the printer is already on my wireless network. Follow the rest of the instructions on the computer screen to install the software on your computer. You can repeat this process for any additional computers. You are now ready to print wirelessly from your computers.